Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Happy Valentine's to you, Aries. Let's get into your reading. So, Aries, I see some sort of a lies is out. They recognize that a cancer have not been speaking the truth. Justice came down on a cancer and they recognize that a cancer have not been speaking the truth. A lot of you Aries that had offered some sort of a love to a cancer, they recognize the lies and deceptiveness of a cancer and that a cancer had not spoken the truth. Wow. So what is happening and what is transpiring is that you Aries um, had connected with a cancer and have uh, uh, and and uh, now um, you recognize that a cancer had lied. You recognize that a cancer have not spoken the truth. And you Aries are now as if, oh my God, um, how didn't I see this? How didn't I see this? Um, so you could have been in a relationship. You could have married to a cancer. Now you're going to be recognizing that nothing that a cancer said was true. The cancer was lying and created a whole lot of uh, lies and deceptiveness. I see justice is going to be coming up on this cancer because you um, are recognizing that this cancer used you in order to acquire wealth and stability. And as uh, and I see um, that they are finding out. In the center, um, a lot of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn, whoever this person is. I see a lot of love is coming to this person because they have recognized who this person is. And uh, um, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are choosing for the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It's not showing up who they are, but there is a Capricorn woman who is uh, the love of your life. And you are choosing for this person because you recognize that a cancer have created a whole lot of lies and illusions around this person. And I see um, that you recognize that this cancer um, through hate have created this problem. So a lot of you um, Aries men could recognize that a cancer created a, lies, a lot of lies and illusion around a Capricorn person. And you recognize now that it's not true. And you recognize that the person wasn't speaking the, the truth. Then we see the energy of the um, people showed up who... Um, a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion man is, is coming up as a Pisces man. I see a fire sign person is now recognizing who is this Pisces man and recognizing that this Pisces man is connected to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I see that a fire sign woman was uh, um, all hope in this Pisces man and now... Um, this woman is recognizing the Pisces man, man is in a relationship with a Capricorn woman. And I see this Capricorn woman stood her ground and is looking at the whole situation playing out. And I see um, that uh, a Capricorn woman um, is the star of the show. So I don't know if you men were deciding to make some sort of a decision between a cancer and a, a fire sign woman, um, you're going to be choosing the Capricorn. Uh, I see the love is for the Capricorn, the energy of the Ten of Cups. I see a lot of people are loving the, the Capricorn because it's as if whatever is happening and transpiring. I see they choose for the Capricorn because they recognize that this Capricorn woman um, is, uh, you know, really honest, upright, and uh, really see a situation that was not happening, okay? A lot of you women who are in a relationship with a Pisces man, I see that this is over, um, whatever that was happening and transpire. I see the energy of this Pisces man that it is over for this Pisces man and you fire sign women. So a lot of you fire sign women could have been in a relationship with a Pisces man, I see that it is over. And a lot of you um, are going to be receiving some sort of a message. And I see a lot of you are going to be showing love and affection to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman. 
because this woman showed you that your partner that is a cancer was not truthful okay so it's as if a lot of you Aries recognize that uh, um you know if you were in I, I, a lot of you um Aries women are going to be recognizing that uh, um a cancer have lied to you i see you want divorce and you want it like fast um because uh, you are going to be recognizing that a cancer had lied to you you are now recognizing the truth and recognizing that a cancer have not spoken the truth um you ladies are going to be recognizing that whoever um this cancer is a lot of you women who are married to a cancer man i see you are going to be recognizing that this cancer man was in love with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn it is not showing up so in order to find out so who is this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um you have to follow us to the other side where you will um receive the message of who this person is so a lot has been happening a lot of this has been transpiring and people are really recognizing that whoever your husband is a cancer man who is your husband was in love with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. I see a lot of you Aries have recognized that you were cheated on um, by a Pisces man and a, um, some a Pisces man, some a Cancer man. A lot of you Aries are now recognizing the hardship, heart heartbreaks, heartbreaks, a whole lot of heartbreaks and. Uh, Whatever this art breaks is, I see justice is coming up, but I see happiness and joy for a Taurus or Virgo person. But for you, um, Aries women, I see changes is coming up in your marriage or relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now, truths is being revealed. Um, a lot of information came out. Um, a lot of information came out and they recognized that a cancer person, justice came up on this cancer person because, um, they have been, um, I, I, you know, whatever is transpiring, whoever this cancer is, they're going to be finding out the truth about this cancer and how this cancer have created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. So, and they're going to be now recognizing. So I see a lot of you women who are married to a cancer. You're going to be recognizing that uh, the cancer had some sort of a love for a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So um, it is going to be coming out. And, um, you know, I think that this person could be telling you, yeah, this person, I met this person. Yes, I fell in love with them. Yes, but it didn't work out. The story doesn't end here, Aries, because this man was also seeing someone else. So whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, this woman had walk away from this man because this woman recognized that this man was playing his own game and dancing. He was baking his own cake and sitting down, baking his cake, sitting down, icing his cake and having champagne. And this lady recognized, you know, something you know, this is my exit point. So whatever that was happening and transpire, this lady recognized that, you know, her exit point was to get away. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday together. Um, a lot of you, uh, Aries was thinking about, you know, redoing your vows, going away, taking a holiday, but now not going to happen. Not going to be happening because you're thinking about ending your marriage because you recognize that this man has played you. Is it played you? I don't think so. Aries, you have to face the music. Um, you know, you Aries uh, really face the music as to what has transpired. And the thing about it, Aries, is that you didn't want to see the truth of who this man is. You didn't want to recognize that, hey... You know, it's not strong enough to keep us going. You wanted to marry this man. You you went and took this man from wherever and you wanted to marry this man. But you were also controlling. You were very controlling. 
And um, this is what that, uh, no one ruined your relationship. Um, absolutely not. No one ruined your relationship. You had a blind faith in a man that you got in, uh, married to. And, uh, you know, light is now shed that this man, you know, was seen or his heart was open for another woman. And, you know, to be honest, Aries, you got to face the music. A water sign people are not for you. If you notice where you are, you are the ending of Pisces and the beginning of uh, um, the fire. So if even you are a cops, you are more connected to a Pisces person, which is a weak relationship, but not a cancer. A cancer is illusionary. You Aries or a bam, 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 fire, fire, choo, choo. You know, you do this uh, my way or not. And they are like, I am a cancer. I am a water sign. I can change. I can be a fire if you want me to be a fire. But at the same time, I am unchangeable. Okay. And the, the reason why relationship and marriage do not work out, ladies and gentlemen, is that as a fire sign, if you are going to be going with a water sign, you have to be on the cups of Aries and Pisces. Um, yeah, Aquarian, Pisces, Aries. Yes. So you have to be on the cups with a Pisces. Okay. Um, because the relationship is not going to be working out. And you Aries, whenever you're focused and you decide that you want a person, nothing else can tell you unless you go to uh, look in your birth chart and recognize who is it that you need to marry to. And this is why I'm saying to a lot of people, look at your birth chart. People are married to the wrong people for the wrong reason. And you Aries have to be honest to yourself. You married to the spicy skin, so a scorpion man. Because you have had your eyes on this man for a very long time because you realize that this man is in a less stronger position than you and you have created your wealth and you could pull in this man. But you got to face the truth. Um, a Pisces man or a cancer man is not your... You need to be with the energy of the Aquarian, Gemini and Libra. So whoever you are, Aries, I see you are so emotion, but you know, you, you cost this on yourself. And, you know, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it is a situation where you basically cost this situation on yourself. And if you recognize the hurt side woman was aware of this play of this person. So this earth side woman was on top of her game. And this earth side woman, you know, recognize, hey, I am too good for this. I am walking away. I'm turning my back. I'm walking away. So what we're recognizing here is that uh, you, um, you know, women feel as if you were let down by your husband, but you let yourself down. And the thing about it is that you have to recognize uh, I can want someone, but does the person want me? Um, I can want to be in a relationship, but does the person wants to be in a relationship with me? So, you know, it is about you, Aries, was not recognizing, hey, you know, does this man really wants me? Is this where this man needs to be? But you have used, you know, whatever you have in order to hold this man. And this and this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is coming up as the um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is like, you know, you marry him. It's yours. I, you know, I see through this person. So, you know, you know, lady, you know, whatever is here, don't get me involved. I don't want to be involved because um, I would not have made the choice you have made. And the thing about it with earth sign and fire sign women earth sign women can stay without a relationship earth sign women can see someone for a long time but just stay without a relationship because um they recognize that uh, they have to um make the decision um because they don't want their heart to be broken a hurt sign woman save her heart she doesn't want her heart to be broken 
And obviously this woman was recognizing that, hey, this man can come with all the nice things to say, but you are married. And two, I am not the only one that your eyes is on. So three, I have been out with you and I have seen the way you behave. And, um, you know, I am a woman. I have no time for this sort of a thing. So a, a lot of you Aries is against um, a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. But this woman recognize what you didn't see about your husband and this how this woman was like okay fine and this woman stand her ground and she she left a, a situation because you she recognized this situation was very unhealthy and she's recognizing um you know we're good friends it would not have gone any further because you think um, that, you know, people are not seeing what is going on, but this woman, you know, she, she's sharp. She's very sharp. And this woman will prefer not to be in love in order for her heart not to be broken. So, you know, a lot of people think that earth sign people is cold. Earth sign people is not really cold. They just know that certain situation is going to be affecting them. And they make sure that they protect themselves from these sort of a unwanted marriages, unwanted situation. I gotta go. If you'd like to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side.